Om Shanti. Welcome back. We are doing the recording of 29th of September's God be blessing. And in this God be blessing, Supreme Father is reminding us that we have been living our life with our dreams, with our wants and desires. But are we ready? Ready for what? Are we ready for the end of days? Are we ready for the time when the real change happens in the world? When this old world doesn't exist anymore? When there's a big destruction which takes place? Now you'd be very disheartened with the word destruction. But yes, if you see the condition around the world, for many people who are not spiritual, it's very depressing. Many people are facing financial crisis. Many people are facing social crisis, relationship crisis, health crisis in this world. You can, you can just go around in a city's hospital, a general ward, and you can find out the condition of people. You can go around and see the condition of people financially, how many people have lost their jobs. And you can find out that really, even if I am okay, the world is not okay. So this old world needs to go through a transition. You can call it a transition or you can call it a destruction. But the end of days are quite close by. The bell of end of days is looming around. And it's going to go on any time. So but are we ready before the end of days? Are we ready to be totally detached and totally disconnected and go with the Supreme Creator back home because he's come to take us back home? And that is what the whole Vardhan is all about today. Let's explore that. So Prabhupada says, May you become equal and perfect and be ready, ever ready, not just ready, ever ready, before destruction takes place. Now to be ever ready before destruction takes place is the means for your own safety. When you have time, celebrate the pleasure of the confluence age. For the world it is iron age. And for those who have recognized the Supreme Creator through their inner eye have realized what is the plan for the world by God and what is the condition of the world right now, are we moving towards self-destruction? And the answer is yes. Whether you see it climate-wise, whether you see it socially, whether you see it economically, whether you see it politically, you will find out that yes, we are moving towards something which is a big transition. The old ways are going to be destroyed, whether it's economy, whether it's politics, whether it's anything else. And the new ways or the purer ways will be established very quickly. And they are being established right now when I'm speaking to you. They are being established through the organization known as Godly Spiritual University, which is Brahma Kumaris. And to know more about how it's being established, you'll need to do the seven-day course. But yes, do you have enough time to do that or not? It's up to you. But still, God's words and God's ways are going to be true. So the destruction or the transition is going to take place. Whether you change or I change. Whether you don't change, I don't change. It doesn't wait for anybody. God then says, but also remain ever ready because you don't know the date of the final destruction. Now many people who have been listening to Brahma Kumaris or have been talking about Brahma Kumaris, many people say Brahma Kumaris is always talking about destruction. We are not talking about destruction, we are talking about recreation. You see, in this world where there is everywhere you look around, there is misery in some way or the other. Even God the Creator wants a fresh start for everybody. He wants that everybody should become purer, happier, wiser. And people who have just money don't have health. People who have got health don't have wealth. So there's no inequality, there's complete inequality, there's no equality in this world because of which the Supreme Creator wants to bring about equality because the children of His are crying out for that. They're crying out and they're begging God for peace of mind. They're crying out and begging God for mercy. They are tired of people around them, whether it's relations, whether it's friends, whether it's anybody. It's becoming difficult every single day to trust people in this extreme Kali Yuga or Iron Age. And only God guides us and directs us to remove the stress. And he says, at the end of the day, some people are going to realize how to be connected to the Supreme. And some people will, the, will be the ones who will be initiating the great, great, great transformation or great physical destruction. So we need to destroy the attachments within us. That's also a destruction destroy the attachments with this old world and be ready to go back with the Father because having attachments to this old world and people is of impurity. 
it can make you feel down it can make you feel shallow it can make you feel dependent it can make you feel many more things and these are not good feelings to have and that is what god says are you ready are you equal to the father or not check that so god says if you are not ready you will be deceived so remain ever ready always remember that you and the father are constantly together so his pure qualities are my pure qualities just as a father is perfect in the same way those who stay with him will become equal and perfect staying with him means spiritually staying with him not physically that's not possible only those who become equal will go back with him now here equality is a very wide definition it's talking about divine virtues it's talking about purity it's talking about having powers in this world to face to tolerate to adjust immediately instantly because any kind of imperfection means the process is slow changing ourselves is slow adjustment is slow facing situations is slow tolerating things is slow and god wants us to do it faster he wants this machinery to work faster immediately change yourself to make yourself feel better and make yourself feel connected to the supreme greater and especially with meditation practice which we learn at brahma kumaris it becomes simpler day by day it's a process not a one day journey and how to do it do visit brahma kumaris with this om shanti